Shane Ryder here with manager Phil Nevin, his second year here with the Aces. Phil, you're glad to be back. Absolutely. You know, I had a great time here last year. Uh, uh, first and foremost, the community. You know, I came up here a few times during the off season, kept my house here. Uh, you know, kind of embraced the whole deal of, of being part of here and part of this community, and, and got to know a lot of a lot of neat people around town. And uh, it's nice to be back, see some familiar faces, and. Uh, but most importantly, get baseball started again. Your first stint at the AAA level, at least in the PCL, you were with the Toledo Mudhens for three years prior to last year. Then you took the Aces all the way to Game 5 of the PCL Championship Series. What was last year like? Well, it was special. It, it was. It was just uh, it was a special group of guys. And, you know, I, I think any time you have a championship caliber team that goes that far, you, you have a lot of things that you experience together. And a lot of people say that, but... Uh, you know, it was a it was a fun summer. Uh, like I said, a great group of guys, fun players to win with, um, and there is a difference. There, there, there's some that, uh, that aren't fun to win with, and you just happen to do it. But uh, last year, a lot of things that just came together well, and uh, like I said, a good good group of guys. I think we we have a lot of that same uh, feel in this clubhouse already uh, from the time spent in spring training. Uh, some new guys, uh, some a lot of the guys that were here, the, the big core of the last year's team, uh, a few of them are here. Uh, so they, they kind of feed off of that, and, and uh, well, they'll get that going again. Who are some of the new guys that you're excited to see? Well, <clears throat> you know, I've seen them all, so <laughs> I'm excited for the fans, though, to see you know a, a guy like Yosmani Tomas. Uh, obviously, everybody's heard, heard a lot about him, and uh, this is going to be a great place for him to, to start his baseball uh in the United States. Uh, I think this park's made for him. He hits a lot of balls in the right field, power guy, you know, puts the bat on the ball. And he's somebody that we expect that he's going to make a big impact on our big league team uh, in the near future. Uh, Pete O'Brien is another new face that people will know. Anybody that was here last year when Trumbo was on his rehab assignment and saw the balls that he hit, you're going to see several of those come from Pete. He's got, he's got power that uh, you just don't see come around too often. Uh, but not only that, he's a good hitter. Uh, he has a good idea in the box and driving a lot of runs, but he's going to hit some hit some, hit some some far ones here that I'm sure the fans will like. Uh, Danny Worth is, uh, takes over for Nick last year at shortstop. Uh, a, a, a excellent defender. I mean, I raved, ran and raved about Nick Ahmed and what he did defensively for us, but Danny's pretty darn close to that. He's, uh, he's a special defender. Uh, you know, man, that shortstop area. He also plays some second, some third. I had him in Toledo for a couple of years. Um, Evan Marzilli playing center field. I mean, he can cover a heck of a lot of ground. Uh, we saw him a little bit at the end of last year, but yeah, there's a lot of familiar faces too. Danny Dorn and Nick Evans. Jamie Romack comes over from Albuquerque, so the fans have seen him before. Uh, did a lot of damage against us last year, if anybody remembers that. But he's going to play a lot of second base, uh, something he hasn't done in a few years. But I've uh, been working hard this spring and look good over there. So it, uh, it adds another bat, big bat in the middle of our order and him being able to play over there. A lot of guys moving around defensively. You talk about Romack to second. Tomas is going to be in right now. And O'Brien moving from behind the plate out to left. How's that transition going? Well, all, all have done very well at those spots. You know, Pete's going to play both corner outfields as well as Tomas. Uh, I'll get I'll get Yasmani some, some play at third base as well. He, we don't want to forget that. Uh, there's a lot of moving around, uh, but uh, you know that's what that's what minor league baseball is all about. And we're gonna we're gonna win a lot of games uh, with our bats, obviously, but they'll, they'll surprise you defensively. I mean, we uh, uh, we did a lot of work this spring training, uh, put them in the right spots, and get the balls hit to them and make the plays. The rotation is going to be strong too. For the five uh, guys in the five man rotation, have worked in the big leagues before. You got Webster, Ray. Nuno, Marks, yes. Marks and Shugel. Yep. Uh, yes, they all. You know, four of those guys have pitched in the big leagues and had some success up there as well. Uh, Shugel, who hasn't pitched up there, I, I'd imagine that at some point this year we'll see some big league time. Uh, you know, he really impressed us this spring training. Almost made the team out of the bullpen. Uh, so we're still building his innings up. Uh, Webby, same way, uh, building his innings up. <clears throat> Nuno came over last year from the Yankees in the Prado trade. Uh, did a heck of a job. You know, I know the numbers don't, uh, you know, they're, they're a little skewed because the win, in the win-loss column. But if you look at his ERA and, and, and the innings pitched per start, he pitched deep into games, did a heck of a job for them. And uh, we'll provide a little more offense for him here and give him some Ws. you got a good bullpen coming back too. Derek Idle, a PCL All-Star last year before a sports hernia. 
uh, sidelined him for the rest of 2014. Jake Barrett returns in the closer spot. If you get it into the seventh inning, you feel like you might get a W with a lead? Yeah, we feel good about those guys, certainly. Uh, you know, DePaula, Ramirez, Paredes. Uh, and then from the left side, you, you, you got uh, Reynolds and Runzler, who, who both have had a lot of success in the major leagues as well, as we talked about earlier. We got uh, – there's, there's a lot of velocity coming out of the pen that, you know, that we haven't had in the past. And these guys, uh, you know, strong arms, it's something that our organization has really uh, put an emphasis on is getting a lot more power arms through our system. We've done that, and you'll see a lot of that here. You open on the road Thursday night, come back next Thursday. You excited? We are, yeah. I mean, you know, first things first, you know, we'll, we'll handle the task at hand first. Uh, that's going to Albuquerque and, and uh, taking one game at a time. But, but a small taste of it, you know, being at home and, and kind of getting your surroundings a little bit. But go on the road and, and play uh, eight solid baseball games before we get home and, and get to, to show our fans what we got. Phil, we're excited. Glad to have him back. Phil Nevin.